Sir, again, I have to ask this question. You're everywhere. Are you tired? I mean, physically, mentally, are you just... Do you get tired, sir? Alam mo, Matt, eh, we love what we are doing, no? Uh, so, the more we do it, the more we gain energy. Ako yeah. personally, I'd been in the military service for almost four decades now. Wow. And uh, I consider really passion as energy. So, ang lakas ko yung nakuku- nad- nakukuha ko doon sa nakikita ko yung mga taong pinagsiservisyohan natin na sila'y masaya, uh, na tutuwa sila, nandyan tayo, upang mabigyan sila ng proteksyon. Wow. It, you know, sir, I, I, I cannot continue stressing this fact. Before you even enter the room, sir, I was telling everybody here about you. Sabi ko, this man you guys are about to meet is our modern day hero. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know what to say anymore sometimes, yeah, baba. <laughs> Para I get speechless, ba? Because some people, you know, a lot of people know you but really don't understand the gravity of who you are, sir. Who you are, what you've done for this country. I know a lot of soldiers out there put um, their life to the line. You have done the same. But sir, I was watching uh, um, President Biden uh, a few days ago gave uh, a 90-something year old the Medal of Valor for his duty back then when he was in service. No? But you, sir, you're here sitting in front of me. People are listening. You are a Medal of Valor recipient, sir. Uh, how does this make you feel? Well, uh, alam mo, Matt, hindi masyadong uh, uh, parang kasi uh, pag sinabing Medal for Valor, uh, that's the highest military award but uh, it doesn't affect me na magiging mayabang or magiging uh, it, it, I, I remain as I am. And uh, I, that Valor, Medal for Valor award to me uh, serves as my motivation I am more motivated to uh, do my job as uh, the protector of the people and the defender of the territory. So, nagiging uh, mas na-reinforce pa yung aking uh, passion of doing my uh, job as a soldier. Right. I'm sure everybody listening right now and watching right now are saying, Paano? 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 Paano nag-Muedelo Valo, si Sir? Paano? I mean, I'm sure everybody in the Army community knows and must know. But for the people that don't know your story yet, Sir, can you take me back to 1995? 26 years ago wow. uh, today uh, I lead uh, a ranger unit I was a company commander uh, I covered the whole uh, western Mindanao area uh, from the three island provinces of uh, Sulu, Basila, and Tawi-Tawi and uh, the provinces of uh, Sibugay, Sambuanga and uh, Sambuanga del Sur and del Norte Were you a fresh graduate from PMA D2? I was no, not, I was not a fresh graduate then. That was uh, in 19, I graduated in 1987. Okay. Uh, but uh, I became I became company commander a year after that. Uh, it was an infantry company uh, with the 11th infantry battalion. Then after that, uh, I was again redesignated as a company commander of a scout ranger company. Uh, it's, it's a special unit after I took the Scout Ranger course. No? So, all in all, I served as company commander for seven years. So, going back to that uh, fateful day of mm. uh, January 30, 1995, uh, nagkaroon po kami ng uh, labanan. Uh, it was a very in- intense uh, firefight against uh, the Abu Sayyaf. Uh, it was the first major encounter against uh, the group. No? And uh, nandun yun talaga yung main body Including the founder Abdul Rajak Abu Bakar Janjalane But initially I was able to detect Only a few, around 20 And uh, I, I was leading uh, A 16-man team uh, Although I, I was a company commander But during that particular moment uh, 16 lang yung kasama ko, including myself Tapos uh, since Considering our training uh, Alam kong uh, in as far as combat is concerned Talagang coordinated yung action namin we, everybody knows uh, his role in in a unit in a team in a in a section so in engaged namin mm. uh, 20 against 16 but uh, when the <coughs> encounter uh, lasted for a longer period dumami yung kalaban how many hours were this was this sir? umabot ng uh, almost 5 hours wow. almost 5 hours we started at uh, past a uh, few, few minutes past 12 o'clock 
yung initial 20 actually, halos na neutralize namin yon. But uh, surrounding them, the members of the main body, mm. yun yung nag-double envelopment at uh, yun yung nakapag-maneuver uh, left and right sa against, against my formation. At uh, we started incurring casualties. Uh, ako, hindi pa, spurred pa ako noon uh, until after two hours. So, lahat ng mga katabi ko, uh, they died. Five of them. Actually, I lost seven. Five of them were around me. Tapos yung dalawa naman, yun yung na-separate uh, mga 10 meters away from me. Tapos, uh, it was, uh, I should say, a, a miracle kasi... Uh, of all the bullets na puma, puma, uh, napunta sa amin at uh, killing uh, all the people, all, all my soldiers, five of them. Eh, Naspera, tinamaan ako pero eh, walang vital organ na, na damage. Puro sa mga ano lang, ito sa kamay, sa braso, sa tagiliran, sa likod ng ulo ko. Wala talagang pumasok doon sa ika nga, vital, vital part ng, ating, ng aking katawan. So, nakapag-maneuver around pa ako, hinila ko pa yung mga bala, mga baril ng mga kasamahan ko. Mm. Ilagay ko sa isang natumbang kahoy. And uh, my, my rifle was hit three times. Mm. Yung front sight niya, tapos yung uh, bat, yung sa likod, ba? Sa likod o, tapos uh, yung last na tama ng barrel ko sa charging handle. So, na-damage siya. Pero meron pa rin akong spare na limang barrel. Mm. Dahil I, I, I got the <coughs> firearms and even the bandoliers nung lima na namatay. Nilagay ko doon sa area, doon sa may natumbang kahoy. At yun ang ginamit kong uh, cover uh, towards the end. Uh, but uh, before that, nung nag-hold the line ako na ako na lang mag-isa roon. Pinupuntahan ko yung kasi hindi naman sila ano nalagutan ng buhay kaagad eh. Hindi sila kumbaga naghihingalo pa. Mm-hmm. So I I went to them, uh, isa-isa kong tinulungan muna pero uh, hopeless na. Eh talagang matindi yung mga sugat nila. So ang ginawa ko, iniwanan ko silang lima tapos bumalik na ako doon sa likod ng ano ng natumbang uh, kahoy. At uh, doon ko... You already hit here, sir? I was hit twice already during that time. Where exactly, sir? Ito yung unang tinamaan sa akin. Pero, nung natamaan ko, natamaan ito, nagpatali ako doon sa radyoman ko. There, mayroon yung tourniquet namin. Tapos, ito, since nalalaglag, kinakagat ko. Yes. Bandang huli, binali na lang nung radyoman ko. Uh, tinali niyang ganun. Kaya itong, itong, itong dalawang buto ko rito, putol na to nakagano na yung kamay ko tapos uh, bago niya ma ma, ma-, ma- totally matalian malagay yung torniki tinamaan naman ako rito ito yung tama ko tapos lumusot tum- hmm. mapunta sa kanyang mukha rin yung bala ng radio man ng radio man ko is so, your radio man still alive today? yun yung nahiwalay nung nahiwalay nung after nung tinamaan siya nahiwalay he's still alive yun where, yung, where is he now sir? nasa Mindanao nasa Pagadian City retired na sir? retired na siya oh. and uh, we are constantly communicating actually yung nasurvive na kasamahan kong Siam nalagasan pa kami ng isa so walo na lang kaming buhay ngayon you still talk and to them? we are them? still uh, communicating communicating. Yung dalawa, kasama ko pa rin ngayon. Kinukuha ko sila. Sabi nila, magsabay na lang kami daw mag-retire. Wow. Uh, come July. That's a bond that, that uh, can never be broken, sir, no? Yun, talagang hindi... I call our... My team as uh, Band of Brothers. Uh, yes, sir. Yung company ko. In fact, uh, very, very close kami na nagsiselebrate kami ng uh, anniversary yeah. namin every December, every November. Pero with the pandemic, last year and this year, baka hindi kami makapag-celebrate. Thank you.